on the other side of suffering is greatness. Now, if you think of anything or anyone who's achieved something prolific in their lives or in their career, in almost every single case, they've had to go through some form of pain, some form of suffering, or some form of challenge. I was recently sitting with an investor, and we were talking a lot about his career and the things that he went through. He was able to take a business from zero to 80 million pounds in revenue within a three-year period, but he told me that after that time, he had to take over six months completely off, and he had to take six months where he basically did nothing because his body and his mind was broken. Uh, and it was broken because he was so obsessive about building this company and doing everything that it took to get this company to where it needed to be, that he got the outcome that he was looking for, but in a way he broke himself in the process. Now, many years on from that company, he couldn't be happier because he has infinite optionality in his life because he sold that company for north of nine figures. And now he can do what he wants, when he wants, how he wants. He's not accountable to anyone. He does exactly what he wants within the confines and making his own decisions at any given time. So you've got to ask yourself for him, was that, was that worth it, right? He sacrificed probably uh, three years of his life, uh, an element of his health, an element of his mind state, but now he was able to live the rest of his life like an absolute champion. Now, as much as I wouldn't necessarily encourage putting yourself in a position where your health is compromised, you do have to accept the fact that in order to achieve something great, there's going to be some form of suffering. And if what you want to achieve is worth it to you, you've got to commit yourself to being willing to do the work and go through the grind and go through the suffering in order to achieve that thing. Now, for some of you, you might hear this and say, actually, to be honest, that's not for me. I want to live a bit more comfortably. I want to prioritize, you know, these other things. And that's okay. But if you look at any of the great achievers, like the investor that I just mentioned, you look at an Elon Musk, you look at all of these people, they, they, they suffer, right? They sacrifice. They go through things that others aren't willing to do. Elon talks about sleeping in the office even now, right? So you've got to sometimes make a decision of, how much are you willing to sacrifice? Are you willing to sacrifice relationships, friendships? Are you willing to sacrifice things that are comfortable to you right now to put yourself in a position where you can achieve greatness on the other side? Muhammad Ali behind me spoke about the fact that he never started counting his sit-ups and still it started hurting. Then he started counting. That's another form of suffering in a more physical capacity. So on the other side of suffering is greatness. You just have to take a decision of, are you willing to persevere when it gets tough in order to achieve what you're saying you want to achieve in your life? I hope this video has been helpful in some way. See you on the next one.